हेलो एवरीवन इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल लर्न हाउ टू ड्रॉ अ लैंडस्केप पेंटिंग एंड हाउ टू पेंट इट विद एनी पेंट्स यू कैन यूज यू कैन यूज अक्रेलिक पेंट्स यू कैन यूज पोस्टर कलर्स बट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज अक्रेलिक पेंट्स आई हैव दिज अक्रेलिक पेंट्स ट्यूब्स यू कैन यूज एनी ऑफ दैम एंड लेट स्टार्ट विद इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू गिव द बॉर्डर with i'm using a masking tape here you can tape any you can use any tape if you having any good quality of sheet the sheet should be thick so let's start it with a pencil and let's draw it it's a basic landscape we are going to draw it and we will learn how to paint it i'm taking one third part of the sheet and a horizontal line then i'm making two houses very simple one this area should be equal to this and this area should be parallel to this similarly behind it a taller one it should be parallel these two lines two or vertical rectangles and then we will make background one two and then some trees going to overlap the trees above the mountains there are some front trees i'm making them very simple a taller one and then side one keep them simple and easy and in the foreground where the tree is starting one and here this starting two and from here Three, four, five. Okay, and now we're going to just erase the extra lines, getting above after overlapping the things. So our landscape is ready. Now we quite paint, and we will. take out our paints in our palette i'm using a plate a white plate where i'm going to take out my colors so let's see first of all what material we going to 
use i'm using two flat brushes and two round brushes okay and here are some colors i'm using you can use any color there's no problem with colors and a plate and any rag you can use let's start it in the sky i'm not going to use blue i'm even in fact i'm taking sea green color so i have already a green color you can take out simple green or dark green and sky blue also and here i'm going to mix them well on the side and let's see which color we're going to make i'm using more of the sky blue less of green this color we having now i will add a white tone because we required a lighter color so i'll add white tone and this is color this color i'm going to use let's see if we add a bit lemon yellow see you can make different colors by mixing and you can keep experimenting it's getting leaf green and more of the white so this color i'm going to use i'm taking a just a bit of water because it's getting dry and mix it well in your palette only first with your brush and then we're going to apply it in the top of it always start painting from the above side it's above because if you start from the down our hands will get like this move like this and your painting will can be just ruined with your hands only touches so start always from the above Let's make the outline first. We don't need to make outline around the tape, so we will make outline only to this area. And then softly mix them in one direction. So this was the first tone we have used. Blend it nicely. No brush mark should be visible and no white sheet should be visible. So second step we're going to do here, we will take out a cup of water, wash it nicely. And then with a rag, clean it. And now we will move to the second tone. And we're going to use second tone here. It will be pink. So if I, you can add red and pink also. I have pink direct. So I'm using the direct. I'm using a more thinner brush and taking out some white here and pink and mix them well nicely one tone we need we do darker one and one lighter mix them nicely in the palette only 
you will not get lumps while doing on the sheets so in the bottom one we will use pink darker pink always first outline the things then fill them if you think they are getting thick dry or thicker you can add some water Again wash your brush, clean it, move to the second tone. The best part of acrylic colors are they get very easily dry and overlap you can do overlapping with them they don't get mixed Okay, now I have sky blue in my palette and I'm going to use the sky blue here but I see some water drops. And background area also again the sea green color we require to do so we will make that make it again I'm filling it directly because we're going to use the brown or the black color in the branches of the tree so you can do it
again wash your brush. Let's add some more trees. One, two, three, one, two. Now we will move to the foreground. Here I have taken some more colors, orange, red, brown, dark brown, dark blue. So here we will use first yellow one and orange because it's a lighter tone we're going to use first and we will start from the foreground now. The first one I'm going to use is which will be the reddest red one. And we will learn here the overlapping and the shading part also. How to do it. First one we will use red, then orange, you can mix them or you can just do it like this also, give some patches and take And now we will move to the yellow. Now mix them. You can leave it with the brush patches also. It will give you a nice texture. And now we will do the bluest part. I'm taking the sky blue again, a bit more sky blue. If you don't have sky blue, mix them, you can make it or you can use directly the white also. In the blank alternative columns, we will do the blue one. I am adding some of the brown in the ending point to make it look more darker. If we don't have this color, you can use directly a bit of black, not much, just a bit touch of black. Wash it, clean it again. And move to the blue. Again wash your brush and take out the sky blue.
okay now we will take out more of the dark blue similarly here brown and blue I am mixing and just doing in this you can take out directly black also and do the black Now we will do the trees. Similar colors almost take out the more of yellow. I am taking it and other colors we have already. So we will start with the yellow first. Sorry I forget we will start with the darker tone. The red brown. Then orange, give any shape to this tree, in the bottom area of the tree you have to give a darker tone to show a shadow part. Then wash it nicely, take out the yellow and the above. Okay, now next color we are going to use here, it will be the green. So let's take the light green also. First tone, take out the dark green and blue, mix them. A bit of brown and do the base first. If you remember in the leaf painting also I have shown you the landscape shading part.
second tone just use the dark green Now we will use the deep light green tone. So you can give it the shadings to anything like this. The bottom part will be the darker and slowly slowly they will get above and they will get lighter. It's all the game of light and shades. A bit of white in the yellow. And then in the last ones, background ones, I'm taking brown brush because they are very sharp. Red and brown. Wash them orange. And then yellow. One side darker, one side light. Now take out the brown color and let's make the branches. Our painting is ready now.
In the end, it's the time for signature. And now you can just wash your hands and then in the end we just going to remove our tape, our last part from the outer side. Your beautiful landscape colorful bright hot colors painting is ready now try it with paints beautiful paints you can try it paste it we will get pasted okay so it will look like this try it beautiful colorful painting you can try it on canvas also if you get the technique so thank you everyone for watching the video and we will see